Welcome back guys. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the properties of health function. So properties of health function. Okay. So uh, you all are aware like how the our Hill equation or our Emacs model is, right? Okay. One second. Okay, so these are um, Hill equation is like this. Okay, so this is E on y axis and concentration on x axis. So this is the regular, um, you know, Emacs graph. But if we apply natural log on x-axis our emac graph will look something like this right so ln of c if we apply natural log on x-axis our graph will look like something like this so here let's draw the ec50 value is the mid the concentration or the midpoint concentration the effect the where the 50% of effect okay 50% effect when a concentration and the concentration at that time point is called EC50 okay and the maximum effect this is the maximum effect E max okay so now as you are aware E is equal to E max times C over EC50 plus C, or aware of that, right? So, this equation, oops, sort of one second. Okay, this equation, as you can see, this E is equal to E max times C over EC50 plus C. So, let's see what will happen when, when, C is equal to when C is very very greater than EC50. Let's see what will happen when C is very very greater than EC50. That means that means here in this equation, as you can see, when C is very very greater than EC50, right? So what will happen? This EC50 will be negligible, right? EC50 is negligible what will happen then E is equal to E max times C or EC50 is almost negligible so let's say C 0 plus C right that is equal to E max times C over C so here this C C gets cancelled then effect then effect is equal to E max that's true right so when the concentration is very very greater than EC50 let's take a look at the um, let's take a look at this here E and C right so this is EC50 EC50 when concentration is very much greater than let's say somewhere around here very much greater than EC50 here the concentration right so what will be the effect the effect will be E max, right? So the effect will be E max, right? So let's see what will happen when when concentration is equal to E C fifty. So at a time point when concentration when concentration when concentration is equal to E C fifty, let's see what will happen. So let's write the equation again E is equal to E max times C over E C fifty plus C. So when C is equal to E C fifty, okay, then what will happen? E max E is equal to E max times C over 
since c is equal to e fifty c plus c that is equal to e max times c over two c, right? Now c c gets cancelled, and we will we are left with e is equal to half of e max. That's true, isn't it? So we have, if you take a look at this, you know, if you take a look at this graph, when what is EC50? EC50 is half of the Emax. This is Emax and the concentration where the effect is, you know, half of the maximum effect. The concentration at that time point is EC50. Right? Okay. Now let's see the other scenario when when C is equal to when C is I'm sorry when C is very very less than EC50 guys when the concentration is very very less than EC50 let's see what will happen so let's write down the uh, equation again E is equal to E max times C or EC50 plus C when when this EC50 is very very high than concentration right that means that means this is an effect this is concentration right so when so what will be the effect when the concentration is somewhere around here or somewhere around here or somewhere around here this is EC50 right so when the concentration is very very less than EC50 concentration so what would be effect so it's it's this something like this right so let's write down the equation here e is equal to e max okay e max because concentration is very very less than e c50 then and c is very very less than so e max times c c is negligible so we not we we are not writing C and since C is negligible here EC50 plus C is EC50 right so here C okay so this is E max or EC50 right did you get that okay so E max times C over since in the denominator here since EC50 plus C, where C is very negligible, then we are going to write only EC50. So I'm going to take this part and write it as AS or slope times C. So where the slope is E max over EC50, right? So E is equal to S times C. Okay probably you may have noticed why I have written the concentration here so S times C because I have deleted the C but I haven't deleted this this concentration over here I haven't deleted this concentration here right so you can imagine so let's say the E max is 10 and the concentration is 0 0.001 then what will the effect the effect will be the the, the total numerator will be like say 0 0.1 divided by the EC50 right so there is a, a tremendous influence of co this C in the numerator but in the denominator you're simply adding let's say the EC50 here is 10 let's say 100 and the concentration is 0 0.001 so what will the total it's 100.001 so there's not much difference between 100 and 0 0.0 100.001 so that's why we're you know uh, taking off the C aside and just writing E max or E C fifty. So the finally we have E is equal to S times C. Okay. I'm gonna stop this lecture here. So we're gonna discuss the sigmoidal uh, concentration effect model in the next lecture.